In the heart of the book of Revelation lies a narrative of cosmic proportions. A tale of celestial warfare that transcends the boundaries of time and space. At its core is the epic clash between the Archangel Michael, embodiment of divine righteousness, and the malevolent dragon, symbolizing the very essence of evil itself. It is a battle steeped in mysticism and symbolism, resonating with echoes of a timeless struggle between light and darkness, good and evil. Let us embark on a journey through the annals of this celestial conflict, exploring its origins, its causes, and the ultimate outcome that reverberates throughout the ages. Sure, here's an elaboration on the battle between the Archangel Michael and the Dragon from the Book of Revelation. The battle of the Archangel Michael and the Dragon, as depicted in the Book of Revelation, is a vivid portrayal of the cosmic struggle between good and evil. It is a climactic event in the apocalyptic narrative, representing the final showdown between the forces of light and darkness. The origins of this conflict can be traced back to the rebellion of the dragon, also known as Satan, against God. In Revelation 12 7-9, it is written, And there was war in heaven, Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels, and prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent, called the devil, and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. This passage describes how the dragon, in his pride and ambition, sought to usurp God's authority and was subsequently cast out of heaven along with his followers. The battle in heaven marks the beginning of the conflict between Michael and the dragon. The cause of the battle can be understood within the broader context of the cosmic struggle between good and evil, righteousness and sin. The dragon represents the embodiment of evil, deception, and rebellion. While Michael symbolizes the champion of righteousness and God's divine authority. The battle is ultimately a manifestation of the ongoing spiritual warfare between these opposing forces. The battle itself is depicted in symbolic language, with Michael and his angels engaging in combat against the dragon and his angels. While the details of the conflict are not elaborated upon extensively, the imagery evokes a sense of epic struggle and divine intervention. In Revelation 12 10 12, it is written, And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation, and strength, and the kingdom of our God, and the power of his Christ, for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. Therefore rejoice, in heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea! For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. These verses depict the aftermath of the battle with the dragon being cast down to the earth and his defeat heralding the arrival of salvation and the establishment of God's kingdom. The victory is attributed to the blood of the Lamb, Jesus Christ, and the testimony of believers, emphasizing the spiritual dimension of the conflict. The end result of the battle is the expulsion of the dragon from heaven and his confinement to the earth, where he continues to wage war against God's people with great wrath and deception. However, the ultimate victory belongs to God and those who remain faithful to him. As Christians, we are not spectators but active participants in this cosmic battle. Understanding our role and the significance of this spiritual warfare is paramount to navigating the challenges of our faith journey. Unveiling the Cosmic Battlefield The Book of Revelation unveils the celestial battlefield where Archangel Michael leads the forces of righteousness against the ancient adversary, the dragon or Satan. This battle symbolizes the ongoing struggle between God's kingdom and the forces of darkness, echoing the timeless truth of spiritual warfare articulated throughout Scripture. The Role of Archangel Michael Archangel Michael epitomizes the divine warrior, representing God's power and authority in the celestial realms. His leadership in the battle against the dragon underscores the assurance of victory for God's kingdom, as Michael embodies unwavering loyalty and obedience to the Almighty. Understanding the Dragon The Dragon identified as Satan or the devil, symbolizes the embodiment of evil, rebellion, and deception. His relentless pursuit to undermine God's sovereignty and corrupt humanity serves as a sobering reminder of the adversary's cunning tactics in spiritual warfare. The Call to Spiritual Warfare As Christians, we are enlisted in the spiritual army of God, called to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. The battle of Archangel Michael and the dragon underscores the reality of spiritual warfare and the urgency for believers to equip themselves with the armor of God Ephesians 6 10-18. Embracing our role. Recognizing our identity as soldiers of Christ, we are called to actively engage in the battle against spiritual forces of darkness 2 Corinthians 10 3-5. Through prayer, scripture study, and reliance on the Holy Spirit, 
we can effectively wield the sword of truth and resist the devil's attacks. The Triumph of Righteousness Despite the fierceness of the battle, the ultimate victory belongs to God and His righteous cause. The defeat of the dragon by Archangel Michael symbolizes the assured triumph of righteousness over sin, light over darkness, and God's sovereignty over all creation. The battle of Archangel Michael and the dragon in the book of Revelation transcends the pages of scripture to resonate deeply within the hearts of believers. It serves as a clarion call to embrace our role as spiritual warriors in the ongoing cosmic struggle between good and evil. As we stand firm in faith, equipped with the armor of God, we can confidently face the challenges of spiritual warfare, knowing that the ultimate victory belongs to the Almighty. Let us heed the call to arms, for in the battle against the forces of darkness, we are more than conquerors through him who loves us, Romans 8 37.